Creating Networks in Atlas TI 9 Windows – Why and What For In this video, we show you a number of example networks in order to give you an idea of how you can utilize this function of Atlas TI for your own work. If you want to learn how to create networks, take a look at our How to Create Networks video. You'll find a link below in the comment field. This is a messy network. You can use it to organize your thoughts and ideas, develop a storyline for your report, or organize your data around a core category if you are doing a grounded theory analysis. In the following, we show you how you can develop such a network. You begin by creating a new network. Let's assume you want to develop a storyline for your report. Add all codes to the network that you think are relevant for the storyline. Then begin to connect them and think about how they are related to each other. By doing that, and by arranging the codes on the canvas, a great deal of analytic work occurs. Atlas TI does not suggest the relations. It is all up to you and how you link your codes. In a network, everything that you've learned so far about the data comes together. Atlas TI comes with a few default relations, but you can add any relation that you need to tell the story that emerges from your data. This network visualizes the answer to a research question. In the network, two respondent groups are compared with regard to their changes in attitude over time. The memo describing all of this is also included. The contents of the memo, in combination with the network, can be used for a section in a report or a chapter in a thesis. Here you see two more examples from the same project. This network includes a few illustrative sample quotes. Based on our Children and Happiness sample project, this network shows the relationship between attitude and experience. The attitude that children make you unhappy is related to negative experiences of parenthood, whereas parents with a positive attitude perceive parenthood more positively. Such a network can, for example, be used as a starting point for discussion when talking with a colleague or advisor. Networks can also be used in presentations to present your findings. While presenting, you can also show your audience the original data sources upon which your findings are based. With a click on a code in the network, you can open the quotation reader that shows all the data that is linked to the code. If a project contains multimedia data, you can bring your data to life. The danger that really occurs is not wanting to stop uh, with digging through the ground to find more and more diamonds to complete the ones you already have to make more diamond pickaxes for example to find <laughs> more diamonds. The last application we would like to show here is an exploratory use of networks. Here you see the code co-occurrence explorer. Make sure that it is set to always on top. In the explorer you can quickly see which of the codes co-occur and you can also link them via drag and drop. Once you have created all connections that appear to be meaningful, you can open them in a network for further inspections.